be ready 5 seconds start yesterday i had the honor to present a resolution before you which you passed in it we stated that we wanted it to be clearly understood that we aim at a socialistic pattern of society in that resolution which deal with the economic policy we have to give effect to that decision of yours because ultimately it is the economic policy which is going to shape that picture of india which you call the socialistic pattern this resolution is therefore of the highest importance in a resolution of this kind however long drawn out it might be one cannot enter into the details of policies there is a danger in such resolutions and that is what you may use striking words and vague phrases and imagine that you have given a great lead to the country that does not help us because we have to solve the problems of india how to deal with those problems is itself a problem the problems of unemployment and of raising the level of our people are not solved by broad decisions or slogans i say this without any disrespect to those who wield striking words because i myself have been a wielder of words all my life drafting resolutions getting them passed and so on but a time comes when you have to forget words and deal with hard actualities this applies more especially to congressmen because they have much more responsibility than others in running the government and deciding the government's policy for us merely to write resolutions is not good enough what then must we do the only thing to be done is to sit down and draw up a plan a detailed plan that is the function of the planning commission and of the government and of those whom they consult obviously a congress session cannot sit down and draw up a 5 year plan but in a resolution of this kind we have to indicate the type of thinking needed in drawing up that plan this resolution contains a brief reference to the objective to be achieved first of all after expressing appreciation of what has been done the resolution says that the time has now come for substantially increasing production for raising the standards of living and for having progressively fuller employment so as to achieve full employment within a period of 10 years in the congress the first thing to note about this resolution is that it does not merely repeat what we have said before it point out that the time has come for us to advance on the economic and social plane in a sense we have been doing it but we have not been doing it adequately the time has come to put an end to unemployment in 10 years by 10 years we mean two five year plan periods i wish you to appreciate that we try 
not to word our resolution in what might be called bombastic language we are an old and mature organization with a great deal of experience it is not desirable therefore that we should use words which are vague and meaningless on the whole we understate what we propose to do if we really give effect to this resolution it means bringing about a revolution in this country an economic revolution bigger than any that has taken place in our times take the simple fact of putting an end to unemployment within 10 years just try to think what it means in this country with its population growing year by year it is a terrific job the like of which has not been done in these circumstances in any other country we talk about planning as you all know planning is essential and without it there would be anarchy in our economic development about 5 years ago planning was not acceptable to many people in high places but today it has come to be recognized as essential even by the men in the street our first 5 year plan is now about 3 years old and we are now thinking about our second 5 year plan a phrase in this resolution says that the second 5 year plan must keep the national aims of a welfare state and a socialistic economy before it these can only be achieved by a considerable increase in national income and our economic policy must therefore aim at plenty and equitable distribution the second 5 year plan must keep these objectives in view and should be based on the physical needs of the people these are really the important and governing words of the resolution and ought to be the controlling factors in drawing up the second 5 year plan before going on to other aspects of the question may i say that a welfare state and a socialistic pattern of economy are not synonymous expressions it is true that a socialistic economy must provide for a welfare state but it does not necessarily follow that a welfare state must also be based on a socialistic pattern